Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone. In this episode, I will show you all the moves you can perform with the exosuit, in the multiplayer mode of Advanced Warfare. Let's start with the basics. While on the ground, if you push forward and press the sprint button at the same time, you start to sprint forward. You will already know this, if you have played a previous Call of Duty. By the way, in this game, you have Infinite Sprint, which is basically Marathon Pro, from Modern Warfare 2. This basically means you can run continuously, if you choose to. So the sprint button plus forwards, equals sprint. But if you were to press the sprint button in any other direction, you will execute a dodge maneuver, in that direction. So sprint plus backwards, equals a dodge backwards. Sprint plus right, equals a dodge to the right. Sprint plus left, equals a dodge to the left. Hang on, what's that clicking sound? You hear this sound, if you attempt to dodge too soon after having just dodged. You see, there is a 2 second cooldown period, between dodges. Anyway, sprint plus left, will make you dodge to the left. Okay, so that's the basic ground maneuvers out of the way. Now on to the next level. You might be a little disappointed that you cannot dodge forward, while on the ground. Well, there is a way around that. If you jump first, then you can dodge forward. This is a good way to close the distance between you and an enemy. In the same way, you can dodge in other directions too, after performing a single jump. But to be honest, it is quicker to simply dodge in the other directions, without jumping first. On the other hand, jumping first, can make you a harder target to hit, but what you choose to do will depend on your situation. Now we go on to even more advanced techniques. What this game is most known for, is the double jump, and to perform it, you simply jump twice. By doing so, you will be in the air, and from there, you can dodge in any direction, simply by pressing the sprint button in a direction. A dodge in the air, is known as a boost dash, and you can do it anytime you have enough height. We were doing it by boost jumping first, but you can also do it simply by jumping off a high building. Here, let me show you. Okay, the next thing we will be looking at, is the boost slam. While in the air, press the melee button to slam to the ground. You will kill any enemy directly underneath you. I have the overcharged perk equipped, which is why we saw the sparks. Normally there are no sparks without that perk. The overcharged perk allows you to stun nearby enemies, which can be useful in certain situations, like a domination game. I will show some clips later on in this video. But right now, we will be taking a look at combos. All the moves we have learned so far, can be mixed together into various types of combos. Let's try one now. Note how I used the jump twice in this combo, once at the beginning, and once towards the end. But it is worth bearing in mind, that if you double jump to begin with, you will not be able to jump again, while in the air. Another combo that can prove useful, is the boost jump, dash and slam attack. This final, exosuit move, I nearly forgot about, because, although it is new to Call of Duty, it is a fairly old move, as far as I'm concerned. It was first seen in Crisis 2, more than three and a half years ago. In this game, it's called a boost slide, and to perform it, you just keep the crouch button pressed while you are sprinting. And basically, that's all the moves the exosuit can perform. So, with the tutorial part out of the way, let's take a look at some boost slams on actual opponents, as mentioned earlier. But before we do, a word of caution about boost slams. If you boost slam onto a car, you will die, as you will see here. 
Even if you have a flak jacket on, you will still die. A basic boost slam without the overdrive perk will cause an explosion, so remember, be careful where you boost slam to. But it is perfectly safe to boost slam onto enemies, although it will not be safe for the enemies, obviously. There you go, a boost slam kill. You get the death from above metal, for doing so. Attempting a boost slam kill head on, can be dangerous, which is why I'm using a shield here. It's very satisfying when you connect. A bit like squashing an annoying bug. Watch this part, I take on three frackers at once. That's two frackers down, and the third one was unable to stop me from taking this position. Enemy taking Bravo. Okay, one final kill before we go. Please remember to comment, thumbs up and subscribe, if you found this video helpful. This is Blade, and it's goodbye from me.